Hi there, welcome to another episode of the Debate Circle. Technology has a mind of its own, so they say. Well, one team believes that this is something to admire. The other believes that it puts us in some sort of quagmire. Please join us as we, deep, di we dig deeper into the motion that states the government needs to ban all forms of artificial intelligence. Proposing this motion, we have Mboni Girls, and opposing this motion, we have Kangundo School. First speaker, team proposition, you have three minutes. The world is changing, and technology is growing rapidly. Now, we have easy access to information, and you can get it at a snap of a finger. Putting that in, into consideration, how safe is your personal data online? My name is Aquinas Jacqueline from St. Therese Monigas, and I'm here to strongly propose the motion that the government should ban all forms of artificial intelligence. What is the government? The government is, this, is a system or a method of controlling a country. To ban is to simply say or is to simply say no or to prohibit. Or if you like, you can say is to officially declare that something is not allowed. What is artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence is the ability of the computer to take up human tasks because it requires human intelligence and discernment. There are three, three types of uh, artificial intelligence. This is according to we, to Wiki, Wikipedia. So we have artificial narrow intelligence, artificial general intelligence, and artificial super intelligence. I said three types. How, what are the disadvantage of this artificial intelligence? Well, computers occasionally collect and analyze personal data. This data that has been collected can raise issues related to, to can raise issues related to data security and data privacy. An example, if you take your personal information and post it online, maybe you give out your details, what's your name, what's your, where you come from, what your account number is, those are your personal details, right? What, how sure are you that this information will not be used to harm you or blackmail you or even steal from you? An example is, in, is, is a study that was conducted by Carlos Treves uh, in USA in September 2020. This study proved that uh, voice alteration, which is a... Uh, which is, a, is, which is a product of AI, was used in conning so many people. And about 10% of parents and children suffered from this. Such a pity. Another reason as to why AI should be banned, as I call it, is it lacks originality. Why do I say so? The, the AI generated the AI-generated system depend on already, they, they mimic the existing systems. If they are well programmed, then that is what they use, and therefore they cannot create any new solution to problem. A company looking for, um, for, for new creative solutions will prefer humans, because the human mind has the ability to think and come up with solution. And that's why we think that the AI should be banned and not, not allowed to from grow. Thank you. First speaker team opposition, you have three minutes. Technology, technology, technology. My name is David Kibali from Kangundo High School, bravely, pro bravely opposing the motion that says the government needs to ban all forms of artificial intelligence. First of all, what is government? According to history, government comes from the word govern, which means to control through regulations and a set of rules. What is to ban? To, to ban is to decide or say officially that something is prohibited, prohibited or not allowed. What is artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence is the simulation of human intelligence 
in a machine that is programmed to think like humans. On to my first point. Artificial intelligence is accountable. Let's say um, I want to pay for my electricity bill. I don't have to go to the K Kenya KPLC bank, KPLC and pay. You just go online and you pay. Secondly, the artificial intelligence, they are fast. So you know, if you want to process anything, it's fast. Let's say I have a phone. I want to search or Google what is the meaning of artificial intelligence. When you look in the dictionaries, it will take time. But in Google, it's just a few seconds and you have the information. So artificial intelligence is fast. Thirdly, artificial intelligence is accountable. Why? Now, the people who wanted to be in this debate, and they come from far. You can see like cameras that we have, they are types of artificial intelligence. Now people can watch us in every corner of the country or even the world globally. So I do oppose the motion that says the government needs to ban all forms of artificial intelligence. Thank you. Second speaker team proposition, you have three minutes. Are you tired of adding data cost to your budget each time you're creating it? Well, as for me, I am. My name is Jocelyn Kwamboka from St. Therese Mbondi Girls, and I'm here to propose the motion that states that the government should ban all forms of artificial intelligence. As my worthy opponent has just stated that using AI is fast, but you have not considered the fact that this, using it, yes, it might be fast, but this thing is very costly. What do I mean by this? Um, when these machines are being used, made out of AI, changing it, it keeps on changing from time to time, meaning that by the end of the day, you will lose a lot of money because this thing is not static. It's something, it's something that changes. So by users of, um, according to Professor Newborn Tarif from the University of Great Sir on 22nd July 2019, he proved that the highest percentage of unemployed people are the young graduates. Mark my words, graduates. According to our community, we all expect the graduates to be having something like a work that would be boosting our economy. But in reality, they don't. Why? Because we have left all the work to the AI programmed machines. So if these machines were removed, our young youth would get work to do and by the end of the day, we'll boost our economy in a better way. AI programs are better, they're good, but they are used, they are now, nowadays they are overused. How, what do I mean by it, saying this? People have been, become too lazy that they are even creating machines out of AI such as the washing machines to do even the slightest work for them, like washing clothes, something that you could have done for yourself. And at the end of the day, you will have exercised, which um, through this exercise, you will prevent yourself from getting diseases such as obesity or even high blood pressure. Professor Wangari Maina from the University of Rongo, recently working as a doctor in, at um, Nairobi Hospital proved that health problems are mainly caused by lack of exercise. So if we continue helping um, adding more machines out of AI, we will end up lacking work and our young people will be, our young people will end up um, our young people will end up criminals because they lack, lacking the work to do, they will become criminals or even engage um, in using of drugs because they don't have any other thing to do. So with this, I rest my case. Thank you. Second speaker, team opposition, you have three minutes.
artificial intelligence. Strongly opposing the motion that says that the government needs to ban all forms of artificial intelligence. I am Stephen Mumo from Kangundo High School. I'll begin by backing the point which my fellow uh, opposer, Mr. David Kibali, has said that artificial intelligence is fast. This is illustrated in banks. In the, during the, back in the 1960s, uh, banking processes were, were very slow, but nowadays they have developed a form of artificial intelligence in counting monies and coins. With this, they help to utilize time and the and banking processes is done flow, uh, efficiently. On to my first point. Artificial intelligence reduces violence in the society. Artificial intelligence reduces violence in the society by creating employment to the youth. Take an example, all the youths, all the young men who are in Kibera, all the young men who don't, who don't have employment, they'll end up engaging themselves in, violent, uh, in, in criminal activities such as theft to place food on their tables. With this, they cause violence and disorder in the society. On to my second point. Artificial intelligence is reliable. Take an example, the music which you spend all uh, much of your time uh, listening to. All this mean, uh, music relies on artificial intelligence. <laughs> to process this music, a sequence of operations which is done by artificial intelligence, like producing the, uh, the music, keyboarding the music, is done by, by machines which are forms of artificial intelligence. On to my third point. It is very helpful for the conservation of information into knowledge. Take an example, a human mind. A human mind, it is estimated that a human mind can store information in only 10 years. Take an example, a computer. You can, you can today you can install an information or a program in a computer, and it lasts for even a century. So with this, we illustrate that, we, with this we conclude that artificial intelligence is reliable in that it can store information for quite a long time. With this, I would not like to arrest my case, but to rest my case. Thank you. Third speaker, team proposition, you have three minutes. Tumia ubongo, tumia ubongo. AI, AI, AI. AI should be banned by the government. Well, I, Bridget Kibunja, from St. Therese Bonny Girls, I'm here to convince you about the motion. A point, a, bit, a point has been said by my worthy opponents that AI helps in accountability. We must know that AI is a human invention, and it only does what it is meant to do, and humans make mistakes. I hope I have answered your question. Do you know that AI is used in degradation? How? Technology used in the 90s is outdated. Why? Because machines programmed by AI generally degrade over time. In China, where we have the most manufacturing industries, event eventually the parts of a machine on an assembly line. Unless those parts of a machine are placed well, then that AI will officially break. An example of a company in China is Luca Company. In October 15, 2019, Luca Company brought AI into their system. This has made work easier and effective for the workers. In addition to this, AI leads to ethical problems. Ethics or morals are important human features that are difficult to incorporate into an AI. If the ethics or morals were using AI programs, then they will end up using it inappropriately. One of the most common ethical problems 
people's sight are the concerns about what data the consumer takes in. An example of a consumer of data is a minor. As we know, a minor is a person below the age of 18. Let's say a minor may be playing games with his computer, and suddenly a notification pops out from, maybe let's say from the daily news. Due to the minor's curiosity, he or she may get the drive to go to that site. The content, this content that the, the minor is going to go to will stimulate the minor's thinking perspective and therefore should be banned. Thank you. Third speaker, team opposition, you have three minutes. I strongly oppose this motion that says that the government needs to ban all forms of artificial intelligence. But first, I would like to answer the questions that uh, the proposing team posed. Say that the data or the artificial intelligence can be used to blackmail us as humans. That is why there's an app invented, the Wolf Protect, which is used to protect our data. And also, recently, in 2022, the Data Protection Commission gave out a warning to all people. Why? Because there is tracking device on those uh, artificial intelligence devices. So, uh, another question that they asked is that it, it, uh, it causes high cost and that different companies give us a bonus. Let's take, for example, the Meta company which invented the WhatsApp free, that you can use WhatsApp wherever you are. So on to my first point, I love to say that, uh, on to my first point, I like to say that it has brought about the new inventions. Now, in the, in during, during 2020, the coronavirus period, uh, the Kenyatta University invented a robot which was used to serve the patients who were in critical conditions. Why? Because coronavirus, first of all, was a respiratory disease. And a robot is a metal that cannot get the uh, diseases or contracted to this disease. Another thing, it is that it has helped save a lot of lives. As, a, as I support my fellow opposer, Mr. Stephen Mumo, he said that it, uh, it has brought about the youths who are in Kibra and also other slums who are jobless to bring up their ideas and form other inventions that can help the society today. The machines that we do use in the hospital, whereby it has helped many people through x-rays and all, all sorts of things. Another thing is that it is fast in working. Man is, as it has been proven by the doctors and scientists, it is that man is productive for about three to four hours. So they work tirelessly, the AI work tirelessly. Another thing is I had of the proposing team say that it, uh, it does not help at all. It is that for those patients that do suffer from mental diseases, maybe losing of their memories, it can be used to help them recover them back. Because as you can store the information for a certain period of time. Now, in last year, 2022, a doctor, uh, a scientist, invented a mind-reading machine. I mean, a memory-keeping machine. It has helped keep memories of people who, la who are loved by people. Another thing, <coughs> as I finish, it is that I love to say that my fellow proposers, I think we should join forces and make artificial intelligence help us and the other generations to come. Look at the bright side of this motion. It has brought about development. Thank you.
Team proposition, you have one minute for your final submission. To summarize on our wanting of the banning of AI systems, we think that by its elimination, there will be an economic growth. What do I mean by this? The youth will get work to do, hence boosting our economy. Our personal data will be safe. Since we won't have to worry about us being back blackmailed. Remember, people might be educated about not getting into this blackmailing, but people are ignorant, so they will end up getting blackmailed. But with it reduced, it won't be there. We'll be healthy because um, the health problems, such as high blood pressure, won't, won't affect us um, because we'll be exercising in our work, such as in construction sites, where we not only earn an income, but, but also get to exercise our muscles. Good, oral, good moral values will be implemented because there'll be no risk of immoral content, such as pornography sites, which will affect our community. So please, um, I rest my case. Team opposition, you have one minute for your final submission. Once again, in front of you, Samuel Munyasia from Kangundo High School. Uh, artificial intelligence is like time, whereby when it passes you, it has already passes you. I see a platform opened in Facebook says that shoshos.com. So even the people back at upcountry, the Mashinani people, as they say it, they're also getting digitalized. You cannot tell me that you can use the past uh, ways of sending information, whereby you're telling me that you're going to send an information from Nairobi up to Kisumu using a messenger. You might forget that information. And that is why there was invention of artificial intelligence. Transportation also has helped. The automated vehicles, the airplanes, and also the, the cars. Instead of having man to drive it, it is automated itself, whereby it drives itself. If you check uh, in the Kenham, it says that a lot of people die, a lot of drivers cause accidents because of alcoholism. You drink and drive. You drink and drive. So it will reduce the rate of accidents. Thank you. Um. This is a very timely and relevant kind of motion for our world today. And um, <coughs> despite being a junior team, um, or junior teams rather, there are some many things that I'd have, I'd have expected from, you to, uh, from both of you in terms of research. Because artificial intelligence right now is something that's, that's big and it's current affairs. And, um, you dwelled on only a few items that AI is capable of. And such, I'll, from the proposing team, I'd have expected, um, when you're talking about banning, I'd have expected that um, you look at things like, right now there are robotics being created for war. These robots that can injure a human being, what, what are kind of the effects we expect from such? And it's learning by itself. Um, this uncontrollable nature of information, how do we protect um, our, ourselves, even our marketing kind, what we consume, even as, as consumers of, of, uh, of, uh, of marketing strategies from different companies? How do we protect our data? How do we protect our, our what we consume? Um, for, the, for the opposers, um, you would have looked in all these advancements, uh, but you mentioned a few of them, and I, I, I took note of that, like in healthcare, education, uh, how, are we, how, are we, how has AI developed the nature of our entertainment uh, in research and development? Is it helping us uh, correlate the research and how we develop new things? Um, also in marketing, has it helped companies uh, or agencies to actually grow in their marketing aspect and also in the manufacturing industry. Uh, as such, you are good speakers. Um, uh, Aquinas, you gave good definitions. I liked your points on personal data protection. Um, Jocelyn, uh, you gave a good rebut in terms of the cost versus how fast 
AI is. So the cost element uh, negates how the, the benefit of it being fast. Bridget, uh, the, the point on miners, that was, you'd have put more effort on that uh, because it's a good point. These are challenges we are looking at and threats we are looking at with AI. So, and this affects everyone. And it, when it affects miners, it can actually call for an actual ban because it's uncontrollable. Um, the boys, Kangundo High, again, David, you are confident, uh, you gave good definitions. However, I had a bit of issue in terms of time management. Steven, um, also, I wanted to ask, how does AI stop the criminal activities? You mentioned issues to do with criminal activities, but you didn't say how it actually stops it. Um, Samuel, um, or my only point I'll say is you need to organize your notes so that when you're talking, you have a coherent kind of argument. You don't keep referring to this page, this page. You, you, it confuses your, your flow. Let me start with the boys. They're two amazing. I like the height. I noticed the mic was being pulled down very well, but you're very confident. That is very good. And you have a bright way of heading on, even as you head towards the seniors. Um, for the girls, we have seen you here before, and so sometimes much is expected when you have sharpened yourself more. Uh, however, I want to give it to, up to you for what you did. So for morning girls, I think a, a few things have been said. There are so many disadvantages of AI that exist. No wonder government needs to sit down and say, let's ban this thing, or let's slow down the uptake, you know? They, they, there's a lot of it. And I want to appreciate that I had some points coming out. Could they have come out better? Yes. For example, the first point on data safety that you brought in, that was Aquinas, that is very important because a lot of it is how safe is our data as we're releasing it out every single day and feeding it out to the AI systems, all right? There's a lot of questions on that. So you brought it in, it's just that you were not scaring us enough to show us that, hey, government, wake up and lock this thing out, you know? And I think uh, just Clem here has just said that sometimes we might empower uh, this AI to the extent that they become even lethal to us, you know, that renowned people like Elon Musk have said, we better be careful, we better stop advancing this. Where were those examples that even people who we respect in this industry are saying, you better take a pause, you know? So those are better things of looking at it. Um, However, good citation uh, uh, for you as a first speaker. Uh, Jocelyn as well, uh, good crux is I think for you, understanding in terms of your roles as speakers, that was clear, all right? So what was lacking sometimes is your ability to bring out those particular points, and I couldn't tell this time around, Jocelyn, your coherency, and you know, you, you, you'd, you'd rather lie, not lie really, or pretend, or something of that sort to us. When you exit this stage, we are looking at you still, you know? When you go there saying, oh my, what did I just do? and then sit like defeated. You're already telling us, judges, you better see it, eh? that I didn't do what I was expected. So that's you uh, really putting yourself on the line, uh, limelight. Um, that's the same thing for you, Bridget, as well. We noticed when you disappeared. But this time around, I want to commend you because how you started was very good, all right? And so if you kept that momentum, that would have been very good. So it was a good start. And I think it has been alluded again. When you brought in the element of stimulating the miners' thinking, you left us hanging so that completion of that deduction did not come out well. It would have been very nice if you did this thing very well, okay? So all the best to that for the girls. For the gentlemen, um, I must commend the first speaker, that was David. Um, uh, however, you brought in an element of pain KPLC, and I was wondering, how is that AI enabled? You did not bring that out, all right? Uh, of course, the advantage a bit of it of uh, how AI is helping out in searches and those kind of things. You also brought in an example of cameras. I was wondering, how, can you connect it, connect all that? Penalized for underutilization of time, same as Steven as well, for time as well. I think for Steven, what I would say is the same question. So how does AI create an, uh, create um, employment? We want to hear those particular examples being brought in. Uh, Samuel, good points, good cross-examination. Cross uh, you brought in the element of memory loss, and I was curious to hear how is this helping out for these people who may lose memory? How is it being stored? Any source, because that was a very strong fact, but I didn't hear any source. However, you're very confident speakers and all the best. Thank you, and the scores are out. So the judges have awarded St. Teresa Mbuoni girls with 64.5, a round of applause. 
and the judges have awarded Kangundo High School with 65%, therefore making Kangundo High the winners of this debate. Congratulations to both teams on stage. Remember, to get more of our content, please follow us on all our social media platforms at The Debate Circle on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Threads.